I have great news for you. Simple, inexpensive ingredients in the crock pot are here to save you from a dinner rut this week. Welcome to Meals with Maria. Today we are cooking in the slow cooker. These meals are packed full of flavor, but they are super simple and they are not gonna break the bank. I know you're gonna love them. Now this is a totally new recipe for chicken cacciatore that I had never used before, but I absolutely loved it. It was so simple and so easy. Instead of like traditionally, I'm used to using, I guess like a mushroom and a pepper in a chicken cacciatore. This actually uses zucchini and green pepper and onions and it really tastes just great. I've said this in the past, my husband's not a huge green pepper fan, but in this case, I put them in and he actually really enjoyed it. He said that because the flavor of everything else was so strong and so good that he really didn't mind either the zucchini or the green pepper. Once your veggies are all chopped and placed in the bottom of the slow cooker, you can top that with six to eight boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And then we're just gonna top that with one jar of your favorite tomato sauce. You can always make your own if that's better for you. And then a teaspoon of oregano. And crazily enough, that's really it for the seasonings and the flavor in this. So, you know, make sure that you choose the right sauce that'll give it a lot of flavor. Or if you want to, you can always doctor it up with more seasonings. Anything that you like, you go ahead and throw that in. And then we're gonna cook this on low for four hours and it's gonna be done and it's gonna be perfect. You can serve this with either like mashed potatoes. I've done that before. In this case, I used a linguine and then I just made up a really quick garlic bread on the side with some leftover bread that I had. But it was overall very, very simple. So this is a great kind of set it and forget it, do it in the afternoon, or you can even make this the night before and then pop it in the crock pot in the afternoon the next day. I wouldn't recommend it as one of those things that you leave for like eight hours at a time because I do think that the chicken would kind of disintegrate at that point. Next up, we have red beans and rice. These are so inexpensive. That is what I love about it. And really, really very, very easy. I just served ours with some like minute rice so it even took less time to make the rice. And you actually get to pop in an entire container of dried beans right into your slow cooker. So it is so cheap to buy an entire pound of kidney beans and that really makes up the bulk of this. You just wanna start by slicing up one medium onion two stalks of celery and if you i always say this with the celery buy it when it's on sale slice it up if you're not don't have a use for it right then and then pop it in the freezer if you can because then you'll always have it on hand and you're not going to have to buy it when it's a little bit more because sometimes i do feel like it's kind of a splurge item however it does give a lot of crunch and a lot of taste so it is worth it when you can get it on that sale price and I did also have half a red onion that was left over from something else. I wanted to use it. I could have frozen that as well, but I said, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna throw it in there. It's gonna give it extra flavor there for me. There's like no such thing as too much onion in any dish. So I knew it was gonna be And then be you good. do want one bell pepper. I didn't have a bell pepper. So I just ended up using what was left of these mini peppers. They're kind of a pain because you have to cut every single little mini pepper. I feel like it takes longer, uh, but it's what I had. So it's what I used. As I always say, use what you have on hand because you're gonna be better off for it and it's still gonna taste fine. It's gonna taste great. And I don't know what happened here. Apparently the camera got completely out of focus, but we're gonna have three cloves of minced garlic also added to the dish. Now, to be honest, I had never had red beans and rice before, so I'm not exactly sure what they're supposed to taste like or uh, what type of sausage you're like 100% supposed to use, but I had kielbasa, so I decided to use that in mine. I saw some recipes with andouille sausage, but I decided not to use that because we used that in a dish last week and the kids thought it was a little bit spicy. So I wanted to go with something that I knew that they would eat. And then you wanna rinse one pound of red dried kidney beans. Make sure you get any like pebbles out of there or anything strange. And then you can pour those right into your slow cooker. You wanna add a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of fresh thyme or a half a teaspoon of dried thyme, and I had dried thyme in this case, two bay leaves, and then one teaspoon of hot sauce. I didn't have like regular hot sauce, so I just used buffalo wing sauce, and I think that was actually perfect for my family, so it wasn't like super spicy. And then seven cups of water, 
and you want to cover this and cook it on either six hours on high or 10 hours on low make sure everything's really well mixed together and i did mine uh six hours on high and it cooked perfectly in probably about five so i ended up checking it in about five hours and at that point my beans were fully cooked through they were perfectly cooked if you ask me there's also an option to kind of mush the beans down during this uh, time period if you wanted to just kind of like mush them together i kind of like the idea of them being more separate like a chili but i think it's all depends on how you like it Overall, this was a huge hit in my family. I actually ended up like adding a little bit more hot sauce to it, but the kids ate it as it was and they gave it a 10 out of 10 or, you know, whatever they give it. <laughs> they, they loved it. Next up, we have an amazing true dump and go chicken taco soup. I was so shocked at how delicious this was considering how easy it was. And it was one of those things that was just like a full hit all around. Benjamin to Dan, all everybody in the family absolutely loved it. You just want to start with two chicken breasts. You want pretty large ones. Mine were actually partially frozen, so I just popped them in there and had the idea that I would just cook it for a little bit longer if I needed to. Then I added one cup of salsa, whatever your favorite salsa is, will do. One can of chili beans, one can of corn completely undrained. So you want all the juices in there too. That adds to the flavor. And one and a half cups of water with two tablespoons of taco seasoning and then you want to cook that for three to four hours on low i did mine for a full hours full four hours because my chicken was frozen but that worked out great so if you ever forget chicken in the freezer this is a good opportunity to use that when your three or four hours is up you can remove the top and then add a half a cup of heavy cream and then you want to shred your chicken i actually just shredded mine right inside of the slow cooker but i do think it's easier to take it out and shred it on the side i always laugh at myself like i always say i'm like a glutton for punishment because i'm always like oh it'll be fine like it'll be super easy but then i like lose the pieces of chicken inside of the crock pot and i'm like Oh, if only I had just taken this out, I could have seen everything very easily. So maybe next time I'll remember to. But like I said, this was really, really fantastic. For the simple amount of ingredients and how easy it was to just kind of dump and go, I was so impressed. And then I just served it. You can serve it with some sour cream. You can use some cilantro, some salsa if you want to. Whatever that you like to have kind of on your tacos, you can actually have right on top of this soup. And then I also used some of these delicious tortilla strips that I get from Dollar Tree. Because for $1.25, like it doesn't get any better than these beautiful like fiesta colored tortilla trip. I want to thank you so much for watching today. To keep the inspiration going, go ahead and click on this next video to find more slow cooker recipes. Like it? A 100 and 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 a